hyperoxia test or the nitrogen washout test. Hyperoxia test is a test that is performed on an infant to determine whether the patient's cyanosis is due to the lung disease or a problem with blood circulation. Just to differentiate respiratory cyanosis from cardiac cyanosis. It is performed by measuring the arterial blood guys of the patient while they breathe room air and then remeasuring the blood gases after the patient has breathed 100% oxygen given via hood for 10 minutes. It works on the assumption that if there is right to left shunting in cyanotic heart disease, no amount of oxygenation in the pulmonary circulation will alter the desaturation effect of the shunt. In patients with either pulmonary disease or cyanosis from a central nervous system disorder, partial pressure of oxygen generally increases significantly with 100% oxygen as ventilation perfume inequalities are overcome. Most of the time, we use pulse oximetry to measure oxygen saturation. If oxygen saturation remains less than 8% after 100% oxygen for 10 minutes by hood, we should have to do hyperoxia test. In hyperoxia test, if the cause is pulmonary disease such as pneumonia, RGS, and other pulmonary causes, the partial pressure of oxygen mainly rises above 150 mm mercury. Whereas if it is right to left shunt, it remains at less than 150 mm mercury. This test is usually performed using a hood rather than nasal cannula or face mask to best guarantee delivery of almost 100% oxygen to the patient. If the partial pressure of oxygen raises above 150 mm mercury during 100% oxygen administration, anthracardiac right to left shunt can usually be excluded. However, this is not 100% confirmative. So, a failed hyperoxia test, or if the partial pressure of oxygen doesn't rise above 150 mm mercury, it needs further imaging and intervention. Imaging like chest x ray, echocardiography, and intervention like administrating. Uh, prostaglandin 1 to prevent closure of patent detector process. Thank you for subscribing and also watching to this video.